What's up guys, my name's Joe and today I just wanted to show you some of the few outfits that I've been rocking lately as the season's been changing. I recently picked up some clothes and pieced together a couple outfits that I thought worked well now that it's starting to warm up a bit. So with that said, let's get right into it. <clears throat> Anyways, outfit number one. I'm starting off with the daily Rio walk and although it's starting to get pretty warm during the day here in LA, it always gets cool during the evening still, which is a perfect time to throw on a leather jacket. Big shout out to Boda Skins. They allowed me to pick out any leather jacket that I wanted and I couldn't be happier with the one that I got. Not to mention Boda Skins is from Manchester, which is where I lived five years before moving here to LA. So Boda Skins, you know, is a special place in my heart. It's now the second real leather jacket that I've ever owned and I already know that I'm I'm gonna be getting a ton of use out of it. I matched that with black jeans and a slightly off-white t-shirt from Built. And guys, I just gotta say, I'm all about Built shirts. I first bought these shirts because I found them online and they claim that they don't shrink or get wrinkled. And as a six foot uh, tall, fairly skinny guy, it's always a challenge for me finding shirts that fit me properly here, but also lengthwise. So the fact that they don't shrink after a wash is like, that's really big for me. So I can verify Built shirts are quality and they don't shrink. And this is not a sponsorship, but Built, if you're listening, you know, let's, let's figure something out. The shirt featured here is bone colored and I just like that it isn't plain white. Now I throw on these shoes here from Arc Copenhagen, which by the way, is another company that I love. I've talked about Arc shoes before on the channel, but if you still haven't heard of them or you've never checked them out, you know, definitely check out the website. I'll have that link down below because they've got some sick shoes. I went with these shoes because I wanted something colorful to offset the black and white. I realized some of you would not do this and you'd go with a pair of black or white shoes, which I can get, but I just wanted something a little different. Outfit number two. I actually haven't worn a lot of lighter colored jeans, which is something that I wanted to change. Hence the light blue wash from All Saints. I usually gravitate towards black jeans because they're just so simple, but I wanted to push the envelope a little for me, and I'm glad I did. I paired the jeans with the white Axel Arigato Clean 90s, which I love, but I'm usually too scared to wear because it's so easy to get them dirty, and they are, uh, they're a pricey pair of shoes. Up top, I've got a striped shirt from Know How, a fairly affordable brand that Mariano De Vaio works with often, and over that, I finished it off with a dark green bomber also from All Saints. Outfit number three. Shifting the mood from lighter colors and going a little darker and deeper. The standout piece here is definitely the jacket. This is a new piece that I picked up from Urban Outfitters and I rarely ever shop at Urban Outfitters, but there's one not that far from where I lived and uh, I had to get this jacket when I saw it. The design aside, which I love, I mean, it's shiny yet masculine and it looks really premium, but my favorite thing is just how light it is. It's such a lightweight material that you could easily wear this midday here in LA, at least right now, and just be completely comfortable. It's just one of those pieces that instantly elevates a very simple outfit. Under that, I've got a dark blue shirt, also from Built. Again, I love that Built shirts don't shrink. And on the bottom half, I've got distressed black jeans and a pair of green Doc Martens. I picked these boots to go with the green accents in the jacket just to help tie the whole look together. I should also mention that these are amazing wet weather boots. I bought these pair in the UK before I moved over here to LA uh, and they were my go-to wet weather shoe. They just stayed looking clean and uh, they were very waterproof and weather resistant. So highly recommend it for that purpose as well. You can't do it, man, you can't do it. And finally, outfit number four, the most chilled on this list for sure. Let's face it, we just don't always have plans that require dressing up all the time. And when I'm in my chill mode, I'm usually in joggers. I've got a couple pairs of joggers, but I still get the most use out of these from Super Dry because I just love a slim fit pair of joggers. Not really into the whole baggy scene, and these fit perfectly for what I'm looking for. You may also have noticed the unique pair of shoes. These are also from Arc, like the first pair uh, that I showed you guys in this video. And they're just so different and kind of weird, but cool at the same time. They're just, they're my kind of shoe. Up top, I've got a super soft hoodie from Alphaly, which is owned by YouTuber Christian Guzman. Guzman, Guzman. I know it's Guzman, Guzman, because when I met him, he's like Guzman. I was like, oh, like Blumon. Oh no, Guzman, sorry. Uh, got it backwards, it's Guzman, like Blumon. There we go. Anyways, he gave me some Alpha League gear when I saw him in Texas, and this hoodie is just so comfortable and perfect for those chill days or relaxed evenings. Guys, that's my four kind of spring summer outfits. Um, I, you know, style has always been an evolution. I'm sure if you guys have watched this channel, you know that as well. I would like to think I'm getting better and better and starting to be more picky with the pieces that I choose and be like, I'm only buying something if I really like it. And that's just, it's a mindset that's been shifting over the years, and I hope that 
it's coming across here. But with that said, let me know what you guys thought of the outfits. I'll have the pieces um, shown down below. Appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe if you're new. Click that like button and I'll see everybody next time.